Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you, and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The word Simeon that is translated sign refers to miracles by which God authenticates the men sent by him and the missions directed by him. Give us Acts chapter 16 and verse 17 to 18. We find an expression there. Jesus himself was speaking about the church. Acts chapter 16 verse 17 and 18. Oh, did I say Acts? I'm sorry, Mark. Mark 16. I beg your pardon, Mark 16. Wonders, miracles, by which God authenticates men and missions. Not just men. The man can be sent by God, but the assignment he's embarking on is not by God. So God would defend the man and leave the assignment alone. It matters that both the man and mission are sent by God. He says, and this sign shall follow them that believe. And these signs, and these signs, and these signs. He would have said, and these miracles. The signs are miracles. But they have messages attached to them. And the messages have to be discerned. They are pointers. He says, these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. The Bible says these things are not just miracles. They are signs. They authenticate, among other things, that God is with that individual. Are we together? Now, a man can fake some of them, but whoever has all of them working in him is a validation. There are aspects of these signs that cannot be faked. You see, let me tell you something with Satan. The operation of Satan is such that he can take part of a truth and use it to destroy. But the test is the ability to convey the whole counsel of God, not part of it. Are we together now? When Satan came and met Eve, what he said was not entirely a lie. It was truth that was aberrated. When he came and met Jesus, it was not a lie, but there was a motif behind it, an attempt to destroy Jesus. So he says, when you see all these signs happen to an individual, you can fake tongues, you can fake healing the sick, but when a viper beats you, you see that one? That, that one is not, you can't pretend that one. You can act drama praying in tongues. You can't act drama of snake biting you and then nothing happens. And you see, the serpent he's talking about here is first physical, then prophetic. Are we together? Yes. First physical, he says that I give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions. Not a little scorpion. You don't need all that to kill a scorpion and carry a shoe and kill it. But he's talking about scorpion. Wicked demonic entities that plague the lives of people per second. Are we together? It is possible. These are the same mysteries that the psalmist said they are arrows that fly by day. That a man can be moving and something can make contact with your spirit man. But there is an immunity that have been built like paul they looked at him they said you have seen against the gods let's watch after a while when they saw nothing they said this guy you are not you are a god you are not normal that's a sign there is a message conveyed in it that there are bodies that are terrestrial but there are also other bodies that are celestial and that even among the stars one differed from another in glory signs 
the second word is a word that is called terata t-e-a-r-t-a t-e-a-r-t-a that's the word that is translated wonders terata t-e-a-r-t-a is a word that the bible translates in english in the new testament as wonders and let me tell you what it means it literally means wonder causing events wonder causing events no wonder bishop Oedeko, um, um, says wonder is what makes you wonder it really is the meaning that's the definition wonder causing events events that are so notable your pride cannot stand it you know there are things that happen and people assume i've seen this one before a wonder is what will compel you to react and respond over that situation there is a way god blesses you that you claim oh god i just give you thanks casually you've done this before just like it came yesterday but there is a way god blesses you that you become too grateful to keep quiet is that true wonder causing events that produce astonishment in the beholder wonder causing events that produce astonishment in the believer mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42 please give it to us mark chapter 5 and verse 40 to 42 wonder causing events that cause astonishment and they laughed at him to scorn this is jesus about to walk not just a miracle but a wonder the bible says they laughed at him to scorn but when he had put them all out he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel that were with him and entered in where the damsel was lying we are reading to 42 and he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her talitha kumi which being interpreted damsel i say unto you arise 42 and straightway the damsel arose remember they were laughing before that time and walked and she was of the age of 12 years and they were all astonished some versions say with great wonder they were astonished with a great astonishment a wonder was released in heaven and the bible says there was silence for 30 minutes because of the gravity and the magnitude there are things that god is going to be doing in our lives brothers and sisters that people will come and stand here and not be able to testify and and listen nobody will drive them because the silence is the testimony that someone will stand and say i i have always known god would do this but not in this dimension when god wants to give a wonder he waits till your enemies gather he won't do it in their absence he allows them to gather and while they are talking and say jesus died they see the resurrected jesus they are talking about his death and he has risen no blood in his body but still walking wonder are we together it's not he's been alive he's been alive without blood say wonder he said touch me bring bread let me eat but the bible said the life of the flesh is in the blood so how are you living what are you breathing do you have lungs he said i'm giving you another life as my father has sent me that there is a possibility that you are immune to certain things if jesus did it in heaven will understand in this territory i believe the word of god oh. wonder events wonder god has already done great things koinonia is a family that we have seen humbling dimensions of his wonder but brothers and sisters you are not ready for what god is about to do believe me you are not ready for what god is about to do we have seen god gather crowds without posters it's not publicity it's a wonder it's a wonder there is no single hand bill there is no single poster to put in your car it's a mystery my brother i have read church history i have read revivals men are not idiots there is a force that draws them we have seen the wonders of god 71 thousand followers on facebook not being on air one with no video released is a wonder 
the message is going everywhere regardless of people having self-appointed evangelists running around these messages they have never been here but they move from nation to nation it's not a miracle it's a wonder there are statements in them i am the god who can do as i please are we together wonder causing events that produce astonishment astonishment mark chapter 7 verse 37 let's hurry up mark chapter 7 and verse 37 mark 7 37 the bible says and they were beyond measure astonished saying he had done all things well how many things let me tell you when every area of your life goes well it's a wonder because it's not supposed to be the story of people naman's situation is how men live there must be something in their life that has a k-leg but my god is saying in this season there's something i'm i'm leaving the ones i have touched and saying where is the area in your life that mocks me i want to make a statement in your life they said he had done all things well he maketh both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak he has done all things well done all things well oh we are wealthy but no child when the god of wonders shows up look at what the prophet said when the prophet was speaking to the shunammite woman he said watch what is wrong i know the ones that are right let's let's focus on where there is an issue do you want me to talk to the governor he said no no i live among my people and the servant discerned he said this woman is a great woman however there is an issue in her life and the prophet said by this time according to the time of life i program a possibility in your life that you will carry a child the god of wonders not just the god of miracles if you don't believe the god of wonders get said to be part of this weeping holocaust that is humbling the pride of people there is a god of wonders there is a god of wonders let me tell you science will fail men in this season the theories that have been built for decades that attempt to compete with god will bring people to their knees but there are people that God will arise on their case and he will say I have always known God can bless that what God will do in your life will make somebody come and apologize and say I, I am sorry I didn't believe in you let me confess I, it's, I, I know you were part of koinonia but if they told me this what God will do in your life I won't believe it he said I will walk a walk in your days that if you were told you will not believe listen brothers and sisters let me borrow the words of bishop david Oyedipo. god is changing people's levels in a way and a dimension that will surprise you it's true it's true it's true it's not a lie this is what god can do what is the purpose of signs and wonders why do we need them so much so that god would declare that a whole year is dedicated to experiencing that dimension of him what is the purpose of signs and wonders i want you to know that signs and wonders have a specific purpose in kingdom advancement there is a role that only signs and wonders can play in kingdom advance a few of them number one to believers and to unbelievers i'm going to tell you now to those who believe who already know that jesus is alive and they have tasted of his power and his unfailing love signs and wonders become to them a consolation of their faith in god are we together the purpose of signs and wonders there are many preachers that mock believers for looking for signs and wonders and they say believers should be the proof producers i agree but the fact that you are a proof producer does not mean you should not be a benefactor 
no matter what dimension you get to in god god still remains a god of signs and wonders to those whose hearts are open there needs to be a consolation to your christian experience they kept seeing the miracles of jesus in the nation of israel and i thought he would say i've shown you enough but every time the bible says his messes are new every morning why wouldn't he say think about yesterday's own signs and wonders consolations to my faith that i believed god i trusted him to move in this dimension and he arose in majesty and made a name for himself through my life that's a sign and a wonder The signs and wonders are produced on earth by God through believers. But they are not just for unbelievers. Believers also, like the, the husband man being the first partaker. Believers are not only producers of signs and wonders. They are also benefactors of the same. To unbelievers... What is the purpose of signs and wonders? It is the physical expression of God's power, God's love, and God's goodness. Creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to Jesus. I'll take it again. To unbelievers, what is the purpose of signs and wonders? It is the physical expression of God's power, love and goodness creating convictions in them and ultimately leading them to jesus unbelievers need a manifestation of signs and wonders from and by god through believers first in their lives and then through them to affect unbelievers why because they need to be convicted and they need to come to Jesus now please look up signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation only the Word of God in partnership with the Holy Spirit can produce conviction because when you read in the Gospels they saw all kinds of miracles yet when Jesus resurrected the Bible says some doubted even among his disciples they saw the dead rise they multiplied loaves some of them were the ones who packed the bread yet they ran away so signs and wonders in themselves now this is the balance signs and wonders in themselves do not produce transformation if all a believer sees is signs and wonders you get a job you get a new promotion God opens up a door for you you step into unusual levels of the anointing as powerful as that is there are people that will still not be transformed by it however however signs and wonders support your journey to creating convictions when you watch signs and wonders at work they probe your convictions and all the insult in the name of God and insult of the body of Christ all of a sudden signs and wonders bring you to a point as a believer where your convictions are strengthened and as an unbeliever creates in you the need to surrender your heart to Jesus write this down all manifestations of signs and wonders must lead to the harvest of souls and the establishment of men and women in the things of God all manifestations of signs and wonders genuine manifestations of signs and wonders they must lead people it must lead to a harvest of souls and it must establish people in Christ no matter what happens in your life if it does not lead to these two things then it is profitless the message behind signs and wonders is that they are it is a system of attraction much more than a statement God is making through it he's drawing the lost to himself and he's keeping the saints to be established in him hallelujah 
when people go to a harbor list number one they are not committed to the harbor list they go there to see signs they sit down and say mr man i have a problem do something for me and all of a sudden a chicken appears from the air and he holds it and keeps it down what do we call that that's not a discussion it's a sign and by that sign the two people were discussing whether they made a mistake coming to this harbor list and all of a sudden by that manifestation they find grounds to convince themselves that we're in the right place is that true so when someone comes for koinonia and while he's hearing the word he's wondering well i've had this thing before is this what is going to give us all of this thing what is all this and all of a sudden while he's talking a vision is open for him and he's seeing his barren wife with twins he keeps quiet by himself and he say continue the statement he said no i saw something that has challenged me it's amazing that when believers gather like this you would think everybody believes what you believe until god grants you access to their minds there are people who before they come for koinonia they tell god certain things and say lord you better give me a sign i've been I've, I've hated every man of god and i hope that i won't hate this one too and while they are sitting down right from opening prayer fire on the mountain some the sign is that they find themselves on the floor ah what happened they get up and they're trying to be arrogant and then it happens again then it happens the third time then they give up and lie down there and god says this is holy ground they get up quietly now it's not that god wants to just throw people is that to that person it happened before his unbelieving father or mother and then the guy goes back the next time he sees people falling around he says don't insult everybody there are exceptions god is still mighty he can make it happen signs i remember i think we were in joss maybe this was 2016 or thereabout when joss i was ministering in one of the polytechnics and while i was ministering you know the power of god people were getting healed getting saved getting delivered and the holy spirit ministered to me and said there are a number of people here who are doubting if this thing is really working and those people themselves are not feeling fine so i want to heal them now you see that's no longer a miracle that is a sign and then the lord said announce it first before i heal them and i said there are people here who are doubting this thing and it may not be your fault you came from a background where is a norm to doubt everything that is supernatural and the lord is healing you now and there was a gentleman who got healed i can't remember what he got healed from very spectacular miracle and then when he came to the front he said honestly honestly let me confess if not that this thing has happened to me now i will go back believing that this man play you know games and all of that signs signs is is good to clap for somebody but when it, the miracle comes to your own house it, be, it said that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled this is the dimension i'm trusting that god will take us to because some of the things we teach it has not happened to some of us so you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it when we say favor you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it the anointing you don't hate it but you don't exactly believe it but when it happens through your hands or to your life you don't care who doesn't believe you again it's a conviction signs and wonders are important because according to scriptures i wrote down a few things here they have always been god's strategy an instrument of deliverance from oppression and slavery every time god's people are in any kind of oppression or slavery the instruments that god uses to bring the people out of it it's called signs and wonders one of our texts, Jeremiah 32, from verse 21 to 22. It says, Thou broughtest them out of Egypt by signs and wonders. Signs and wonders are instruments of deliverance. Number two, 
signs and wonders are validations to the power the might and the lordship of jesus christ signs and wonders are validations to the power the might and the lordship of jesus christ give us acts chapter 2 verse 22 and verse 36 let's look at it quickly acts chapter 2 verse 22 and verse 36 thank you jesus ye men of israel hear these words jesus of nazareth a man approved of god by what help me read on a man approved of god by miracles and wonders and signs which god did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves know so jesus a man approved of god signs wonders miracles verse 36 it says therefore let all the house of israel know assuredly that god had made that same jesus that was approved with signs and wonders whom ye have crucified both lord and christ signs and wonders validate the lordship of christ they validate the lordship of christ the bible says listen carefully it says that the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink it doesn't mean you don't eat and drink in god's kingdom but it's not in meat and drink but in righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost is that true and then oh I, i'm not sure that's the scripture i um what's the scripture the demonstration thank you the demonstration of quotes that scripture for me that your faith will not be in the wisdom of men many of you don't know how to quote scriptures you are looking at me and hoping those in front will help you quote it you better learn scriptures <laughs> <laughs> see how clueless some people are i don't even i don't have an idea of i just know that jesus is lord that's bad that's bad for a believer don't don't do that kind of less fair christianity whilst it is not the quoting of the scripture that releases power but it gives the holy spirit the tools with which to walk in you hallelujah yes no the, the kingdom of god is not in words but in power demonstration of power oh that's it god bless you and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in the demonstration of the spirit and of power and then it says that your faith am i right that's yes should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god let me tell you something there's too much talk in the body of christ there needs to be validations of these claims otherwise a time will come when they will just classify us as noisemakers noisemakers that we say god can heal god can bless god can prosper elijah called the people up to mount Carmel and said look look we've been talking for a very long time the god that answers by fire let him be god very simple if baal be god let him prove himself if the God of heaven be God, let him prove himself. You start. And the people gathered round and danced and caught themselves till evening. And Elijah mocked them. He said, shout loud, I'm sure he's sleeping. And when it was time, he brought 12 stones and put water and did all of that and called on heaven. And God came. The Bible says the fire came, licked the sacrifice, licked the water and everything. And it was demonstrated as a sign in Israel that the God of heaven was and is god indeed there are people we need to silence not by argument and debate but by a strange manifestation of the hand of god in our life that someone looks at you and say all these koinonia people is because you are jobless then god gives you a job that is the prayer point of someone for 10 years and you become committed with it and god says it's not because they are jobless it's because they love me are we together are you ready for these dimensions of God this year?
three keys to commanding signs and wonders this is very important this is where your your own role comes in there must be a part that shows you your own contribution three keys number one the first key if you want to truly experience and command signs and wonders is intimacy with God the first key non-negotiable intimacy with God through prayers through the study of the word and through worship listen during my retreat the Lord spoke to me and said that believers must restore the altar of worship we have restored the altar of prayer but we have not restored the altar of personal worship very few believers understand the mystery and the power of prayer and we preachers are the ones who have caused it we have made it look like if you are praying and i'm worshiping and i can't hear any noise from your own end you are wasting god's time so we we pride ourselves in the dissipation of energy for a long time to mean that that is necessarily a sign of making spiritual contact no sir the ministry of personal worship in church we praise god in church we worship god but most people have been robbed of the revelation of intimacy through worship there is intimacy through prayer there is intimacy through encounter with the word but there is intimacy through worship there is no one man on earth that works mightily under the influence of the anointing that does not understand the mystery of the altar of worship intimacy with God please hear me God is not a magician this is the year you must engage in being close to God this Christianity of today I am close to God tomorrow I'm not serious with God I say God is not you know that I don't have a job <clears throat> you must make up your mind this year that Lord it is me and you not just me and your power alone intimacy with God there are people who have been in church maybe some koinonia for years they don't know God they don't know anything about God where are you going at they go church and when you finish where are you coming from from service say you mean you're a worker in that church that's yes, all we join honestly at least they do have small small that statement is an ungodly statement this is the year you will bury that statement in the name of Jesus Christ the average believer listen to me the average believer should be on fire for God not for the purpose of ministry for your own good let me tell you the truth the deeper and thicker the darkness the more you must define where you stand with God there is no vagueness no you know they have this sarcasm towards believers that the more we are outspoken about our love for God the more we fail in life is that true so this becomes the basis for being ashamed when they are talking of poor people they say this this poor guy who loves God when they are talking about certain so many of us don't want to show our zeal and passion we love God but when you come where there are other people you just say ah, me, I don't overdo God knows I do my thing even God knows that and then we find all kinds of scriptures in the Bible that says don't know, be over righteous and say prove this that some of those things are, are proofs of people who don't want to know God is that true if I come to Pastor Alpha's house listen there are certain rooms in that house I will never have access to until I get to a depth of relationship that qualifies me to enter there. Is that true? I may sit in the parlor there forever, but there are times that I may know him and we may want to discuss something very secret. How many of you have seen parents or loved ones or some of you when you want to discuss some serious issues? You just, out of five people, you call only one. And then the person enters and you even in the bedroom you sit at the side that the window is outside and you are discussing critical matters the secret things of the Lord is with them that fear him 
it's not just being afraid priority please let me drum it brothers and sisters that if you want to experience signs and wonders that will last you must work on your relationship with jesus christ i don't doubt that many of us are born again but i don't see the priority of the kingdom when you are intimate with god it will show you've not you read your bible friday to friday you are not intimate with god don't say it does not matter prayer until you hear something on your zinc then you stand up play one coin on your message altar of prayer and back it up with one fearful tongues for 10 minutes and lie down you are not walking in faith he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 to the end that men ought always 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 to pray listen this year i know the kind of people satan is looking for lukewarm and careless christians to to take like a prey and destroy their lives take it from me do you know the lord gave me a revelation during my retreat that surprised me he said son there are many people i wanted to bless but that they their prayer life cannot sustain the attack that will come on account of that level of blessing so i help them by withholding it listen this is true that there are sat every dimension of glory comes with a dimension of attack and much more than your gift god looks at your spiritual life if i give this guy 10 million naira and the spirits that eat up people comes does he have the capacity to sustain it it's not the issue of god give me god give me the bible says god will never allow any temptation to be greater than us and part of the way is withholding certain blessings when god told me that thing i started praying for myself first I said only God knows what dimension I would have entered that God withheld because my spiritual life had not gotten to that level listen if you are lukewarm be sure of experiencing triumph and remaining there alone but if it is signs and wonders please upgrade your passion upgrade your zest for God not come to the house of God today come two months later when there is problem no no the first price are we blessed intimacy with God genuine intimacy create a routine of prayer create a routine of studying the word create a routine of worship those of you that God has blessed with televisions turn them into preachers not entertainment platforms Am I, am I against watching films? You, you know my position. I'm, I don't, I'm not against it. You can watch your movie, whether Western or Nigerian or whatever. But let me tell you the truth. If you really want to press for signs and wonders, you better get a flash drive and put messages and worship songs. Slot it at the back of your TV. That sometimes you can be in your room or your house or wherever and let that sound of worship just arise. You are, you are creating a climate for God. This is the price for signs and wonders. Hallelujah. If in your group of friends, you are the most spiritual, it's a sign something is wrong with you. Because the day your spiritual life is down and you have no one to pick you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Listen, especially for those of us in ministry, this year schedule a strong backup system a strong backup system that while you preach and dispense the word of god there must be a system not just during retreat not just during retreat it must be a daily system that replenishes you otherwise you may not make the journey in the level of strength that you want is god speaking to us intimacy with god does intimacy with god pay my goodness <laughs> my goodness Acts chapter 4 verse 13 to 14 there are people who gave up their intimacy with god to look for money 
there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for power there are people who gave up their intimacy with God to look for fame no sir anything his presence cannot give you is not available now when they saw the boldness of Peter listen and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled because ignorant and unlearned people should not be commanding that kind of result it says and they took knowledge of them what was their secret that they had been with that's the secret to their boldness they said it's true we didn't have the opportunity to be educated we cannot brag on education but i have been with him listen when you truly are with him it will show in your life you don't have to say see me no there is an aura there is a fragrance that his presence carries may you carry that presence this year listen i can know in a second that a man is intimate with god it's not by prayer it's not by having a husky voice there is a presence like a perfume it's a signature of the secret place i can hear you speak and i know that this is not your revelation you just read something online and you are preaching i can hear you speak and i know that mm -mm, this guy you may even work miracles but brothers and sisters covet presence covet presence covet presence has nothing to do with being a preacher covet the presence of god consuming fire sweet perfume his awesome presence fills my life consuming fire sweet perfume your awesome presence fills this place you are transacting business but there is such a presence a man has been oppressed cannot sleep in the night but because you carry a heavy dimension of the presence that person will walk away and lie down and find out that that night he slept with no oppression you didn't pray you introduced an atmosphere covert presence as a man of god you don't carry presence you are not a preacher you are not a preacher a preacher is not just one who announces a preacher is one who brings his climate his atmosphere into a place are we together please let me tell you this take it from me if you want God to use you please I can beg you don't give up the presence of God for anything in your life don't give up the presence of God not for money not for titles pray and say Lord grant me the grace to be addicted to your presence lift your voice and pray one minute Lord I want to be addicted to your presence is where I find strength it's where I find courage <laughs> your presence my place of refuge my place of ideas that's where I receive inspiration that's where I experience the ministry of the comforter in your presence that's where I receive strength that's where I receive strategies hallelujah some of the ideas you see by God's grace that we run this ministry with came in the secret place the presence listen let me teach you something about having time with God take this in mind there are times learn to be alone some of us our lives are too busy to know God learn to walk around in your room alone you know the way you are talking with somebody I do that a lot I'm just walking and talking Lord you know the other day we we're talking about this thank you Jesus I can be walking like that for hours I'm not necessarily praying like generating energy there are times for that but this is a love affair I'm talking with God 
thank you Jesus and sometimes that mighty presence comes sometimes I cannot even stand it is the effulgence of that presence that we bring to the stage there are many presenceless preachers presenceless prayer coordinators revelation hackers who pack revelation after revelation couple it together and hope that it will give power god is not a herbalist please look seek his presence without god's presence what do i have to offer you because you see it's not everything you teach people that will be new it is the presence that makes it fresh presence you want signs and wonders in your life please make out time for god's presence i want you to identify the things that represent distractions in your life and deal with them this year they may not be bad but they are weights some of us is noise making noise making is what has evicted the presence of god in your life talkativeness choo, 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 choo. take that time to the secret place some of us need to coordinate our mornings properly. Some of us is careless time. You are a young man, you wake up 11 o'clock every day. You won't know God, my brother. You have missed a rich pie of the day to know God. Many of us never practice personal vigils. You can do church vigils and claim to a personal when you are alone with God. the excellency and the richness and the freshness of power that is gotten in his presence you are there spending time with god and god is winning battles for you you finish from that presence and come out and you meet testimonies lined up like an assembly testimony after testimony many of us don't know how to win battles when men insult you you have nowhere to run to create similitudes of altars not by building monuments but find exact locations i've taught you the law of consistency don't meet with god just anywhere you wouldn't know him that way no god is obsessed with location carve out a place that becomes your place with you and god if you don't have access to a house or a room why don't you find a location somewhere let's let's be honest with ourselves and be serious and make this thing work this year seek his face and the effulgence of his glory will rub off on you and my brother my sister your life will be a compendium of signs and wonders number two the second key to commanding signs and wonders is faith 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 what is faith conviction plus obedience faith is not conviction alone that's believing faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of who god is and what his word has said you want to experience signs and wonders you must believe god this year John 11 verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 John 11 and verse 40 signs and wonders let's read it together one to read Jesus said unto her uh-huh say it I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe thou should see the glory of God the glory of God are for those who believe God you must work on your conviction the foundation of bible faith is understanding it is understanding that creates conviction you need faith to command signs and wonders you need to believe in god listen listen look at me many believers don't get miracles in their lives because we live in a society where cynicism sells where doubt sells is that true we are always thinking what if it's a lie what if it never happened what if this person were lying you better come to a point this way where you believe that everything god says he would do he will do 
is that true so if we say god is going to bless sam come sam that god is going to bless you it's up to you to choose to believe it or just say amen and then go back after koinonia and talk as if you don't know jesus christ is that not what people do after service they jump and shout and you see them praying then they start laughing at themselves when they are going back home as if they were acting bros i saw you praying as if that prayer is acting and then the person feels ashamed for being serious with the prayer why are we like this we are in church we hear the word and we believe it we get back home and talk rubbish and nonsense ungodly things did you hear that lady's testimony the way i was looking at her eyes is as if she was lying what is your business if she was lying release your faith and say it. i can get the truth of that testimony instead of saying it cannot happen i believe god to move this ministry to a new dimension i believe god to move my life to a new dimension the mockers will always bury their head while god keeps performing signs on those who believe the bible says blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them unto her this is a personal affair there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken i believe it i believe it that lord if you are going to bless me if you want to lift up my life and change my story i stand with you believing like abraham the devil will come in with his rubbish as usual and say look i hope you know that there are many people who are being owed salary and arrears how do you want to build the house this year and then a scripture fires out of you they got not the land in possession by their own hands neither did their sword save them are you hearing what i'm saying you look at yourself oh i'm 40 years will any man really like me and god says just wait and let me surprise you and god will bring a brother as if he was charm and just come and say sister let's go and see your parents say if you are playing don't play say, how can i be playing do i look like i'm playing let's let's go and see your parents and while the rest are laughing at you in three months you are settled and you keep watching their lives and they say ah this bad girl and god says never call unclean what i have called clean. while you are there talking nonsense god is lifting people yes. hallelujah brothers and sisters there are people today you are paying their transport that they will be the ones sponsoring people by the end of this year as young people i'm not talking of some visions in 10 years it is unto you in this kingdom not according to the preacher's words according to your faith i believe god i believe god i believe him i believe him so you have an assignment to build your faith faith does not grow by itself please listen you don't grow just by sitting down you eat correct you eat you don't ask the food which part of my body are you going to don't worry your own is continue having access to the food and you'll see that you're growing that's how your faith grows listen let me tell you this is the year i want to encourage you avoid naysayers avoid faith killers you finish believing god and you finish three days dry over an issue and you come and meet a brother and he laughs hey, open that in it let's look at you you said you are stupid this is what you are fasting about and they kill your faith we have been taught that there are some things god cannot do just believe god and then when you perish we can come and comfort you but not before listen i want you to enlarge your faith for big things this year don't just sit down and say god do this no lord i believe you i believe you work on my faith I'm ready to keep bringing you the word of God that will keep building your faith. There are so many things we are going to learn this year. But that God will grant us grace to believe it. Hold on, Mike. Listen. Please, I want you, those listening inside, outside, online. Let us stop double-mindedness. In church, this is what I believe. We call it church mind. 
I don't know where that thing is, is in Bible. Then after you, you come out of church, we now have the secular, satanic, carnal, and ungodly mind that has never worked. Why change your convictions? It's better for me to know you don't even believe this aspect. It will help me to encourage you than to join those who you are there you don't believe it but you are joining the group of people with convictions you will find out that you will never get the result say i receive grace to believe god say it again i receive grace to believe god and the key is to meditate on his word you don't meditate on newspapers and cynical statement online you don't meditate on gist we were having a discussion when i went home to see my parents maybe let me just add it a little and we we're discussing um the need for god to help ladies in saloons saloon is one place that is a wonderful place for making hair but it is uh is is a is a chamber that can program unbelief now please with all due respect to hairstylists i love you please may god bring members to your saloon but let me tell you this let me tell you this let me tell you this listen this is the first service it's too early to be laughing anyhow this is the i'm establishing the word there are many people hmm, who expose themselves to atmospheres that are antichrist that is the real devil you should cast not just the one around in your village that has left sins atmospheres have been creating room for satan must you visit the friends if you don't have anything godly and serious to discuss must you visit them you can send them a text how are you it's been a while just to check up on you god bless you there are people on their way to church someone just holds them back and then they don't come the person has robbed you of an opportunity to learn say i will work on my faith sam if i gave you a property will you take care of the property will you take care of the documents if you saw someone coming to carry the documents what will you do you will stop the person the bible says guard your heart we are guarding land we are guarding gold we are guarding ATM. Look, you, you guard your ATM by getting a card for it. You now put it inside a bag. And the Bible says, guard your heart. And that's the one you leave it carelessly. Guard your heart with all diligence. We have guarded ATM. We have guarded land that we came and met and we'll go and live. We have guarded houses. We have guarded the little tea and bread that are around and made noise we have guarded cars we built a garage for car and left your heart exposed you see the wisdom of that is of this earth that comes to naught please say i will guard my heart guarding your heart doesn't mean to fight people but to mark people who have a track record of killing your faith they just see you rejoicing they say why the joy say the joy of the lord is my strength say I, i'm a christian too you better be real that thing looks like an emotional sociological statement but the name is is a faith killer statement hallelujah thank you sam number three the last key you want to command signs and wonders this year practice praise and thanksgiving mm. thanksgiving everybody say thanksgiving I am learning many strange things about this dimension of God that is humbling me. With all humility, these are revelations that God has revealed to me, but I am learning in fresh ways the power of praise and the power of thanksgiving and the power of living a thankful life thanksgiving and living a thankful life are two different things thanksgiving is an event you can dance in church carry your handkerchief and not be thankful i have a special teaching on thanksgiving a little teaser to it 
thanksgiving, your communication of thanks must match the blessing given. The goal of thanksgiving is to, to create an impression in, in the giver that you understand the gravity of the sacrifice involved in giving that gift. There are times that saying thank you is not thanksgiving. It's too small for that kind of result. If I give you 10 naira, you say thank you. I give you 10,000, you say thank you. I give you 100,000, you say thank you. I give you 1 million, you say thank you. I give you 10 million, you say thank you. From 100 naira to 1 million, you are ungrateful. That thank you was only valid for 10 naira. You were supposed to make the other givings weightier in your communication of thanks. So many people just say, God, thanks. I forgot to tell you the other day. Look at how you saved me. And God said, That's the, is that the way you cried? Is that how you cried? Did you just cry casually? You cried as if your life will finish. And I opened you a door. And look how casual you are. Please practice a life, not a moment of thanksgiving. Fill a major portion of your prayer with thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you. Are you not the one who has delivered me from my enemies? There are many who would have prayed that I didn't see this year. But Lord, in their presence, you have honored me. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for the other day. I was coming and a bike almost hit my car. I thank you. And God says, you are doing this to me. He said, God, I've not even finished. Wait. He said, what about your needs? He said, God, I know you are faithful. Just allow me thank you. And God says, you don't need to ask again. Your thanksgiving has multiplied your result. Please learn to be thankful. It is something that I have embraced. Thanksgiving. Complaining and murmuring all through scripture attracted the wrath of God, not Satan. When people murmured before God, it was a sign of ingratitude. He punished them. God, you gave me bread. Wouldn't I have blue band there? And God would say, you are a wicked servant. I didn't just give you tea. I gave you bread. Just because there's no blue band, you are shouting as if you are, you are hungry. Say, God, will I continue to eat bread like that? Is it not you that said the part of the justice as a shining light? And God says, look at your ungrateful heart. What happens if I give you a bakery? It means you will leave me and say, God, <laughs> this was all what it was about. Now that I have a bakery, it's enough to feed me. Live a thankful life don't thank god generally be specific count your blessing name them not 10 by 10 one by one lord you gave me five children no cs thank you how is it such a big thing lord thank you lord it was just day before yesterday i didn't have food to eat and today i even had to fetch two tears and give someone because a stranger i did not know just said you assigned him somebody will tell you god sent me you won't turn back to the god and say thank you you told the messenger thank you and god that sent the person you left him like that till you have a need god the other day how did i it escaped my mind and god said what was there what was there that it escaped your mind thank him he gives you 10 naira say thank you make it a big deal God will say, all these dances for 10 naira. I said, yes, oh, Lord, I'm dancing. Some of you are dancing not because you are truly grateful. You are dancing because you have been taught it's a key to multiplication. So you really hate God. It's just that you are just doing it. Oh, God, where is my daily bread? Apostle say, when you dance your way and you are dancing, and God is saying, please stop dancing. Don't make me a fool. I'm not an idol. I'm not a cow somewhere that they lifted up. I am God all by myself. Let your gratitude be genuine. That you say, Lord, I know in this process there is a blessing. But whether or not there is a blessing, I thank you. Say, I will be thankful. Be thankful to God and be thankful to men. Some of us, we close the door of favor by ourselves because of ingratitude. Please take this issue of gratitude seriously. Jesus healed 10 people. He was passing and healed 10 people he stayed there waiting to see who will come back the 10 people were healed and they ran away and one person said mm -mm. we were supposed to die there unclean 
but this one that God has done this one will return and he said were there not ten of you where are the others take out time if you can cry for problems you should take out time to be lavish about thanksgiving as a lifestyle not just when it comes as an instruction here praise God and thank him I live my entire life saying thank you Jesus Lord I am grateful not because of what he has done Lord I am grateful thank you for the workers thank you for my life thank you for your word all through this year second chronicles 20 verse 22 you can just write that as the scripture there they began to sing and to thank the lord and to say for he is good and his mercy endureth forever and god began to set ambushment we have emphasized this that praise is powerful but it must be from the heart that's what makes it perfected praise ordained praise there is praise that is anointed it's called perfected praise There is praise that is rubbish. It's just, it's just selfishness. In one minute while you are seated, can you tell God thank you? Let's just take a minute or two to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you entered 2000, you entered 2018 grumbling. Someone died December 31st, but you entered 2018 grumbling as if the power is your own. Abba, let's be grateful. Some of you, you have been grateful but not enough to match the goodness of God in your life. Don't act as if it's a right. Thank you, Jesus. Learn gratitude to God and to men. Be lavish about gratitude. Take note of things that people do for you that you cannot do for yourself be very meticulous about it say i'm not that kind of person learn it you will close all kinds of doors being ungrateful you can earn a living through gratitude you can literally live off gratitude gratitude is a stream of income thank you jesus go ahead lord you gave me a relationship and work out thank him at least he gave you one at least a guy was able to come into your life lord i thank you i've not built the house yet but you gave me land i thank you lord i've not graduated yet but at least i'm still a student thank you we live in a society of gross ingratitude just take a minute and say thank you how about some of you who have seen the anointing in your life in unusual ways two years ago you were not like this but look what god has done in your life mighty dimensions of revelation mighty dimensions of the anointing now they invite you everywhere to be a blessing men have discerned the hand of god upon your life it's a reason to say thank you don't just say i'm a man of god don't just say I'm a woman of God. Don't just say I'm a prayer warrior. How about people that God changed their financial status? No connection, no Godfather, no Godmother. I'm showing you why many of us do not see the signs of God in our lives. When you thank God, it looks like it's a burden to you. Jesus, thank you. How many graduates thank God? They complain about no job. They run their mouth from morning till night. Oh God, won't you give me a job? Have you ever carried your certificate to put it on the ground and roll over it and say, Lord, thank you. Oh, I wrote jam 10 times. It's, it's, a, it's a dream today that without any sponsor, I may graduate. We live in a generation that complains. Lord, I have a church of only 30 members. But you have people who have discerned your grace and they are listening to you. Lord, I don't have a job. Won't you change my story? You've not got a job for one year and you've not begged. Who has been the supplier of that? There are workers who have been on strike. There are workers whose salaries have not been paid for six months. In other states, some one year. Yet God has sustained them. 
and they don't have any other extra stream of income it's been the lord's doing make sure it is marvelous in your eyes thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah these three keys are the keys that god gave me that if we will focus on being intimate with him and believe him enough to release our faith and to back it up with a life that is full of praise and thanksgiving then brothers and sisters you are ready to see the outstretched arm of god his strange wonders in the midst of people there are battles this year that you will not need to fight mm -mm. this is i believe with all my heart that this is one of those years that the lord will say uh -uh. this battle is not your own allow me the egyptians you see today they are greater than you you have already done your own battle by worshiping me leave me to fight them that god will take you out of the battlefront and stand there and ask the enemy that will oppress your family face me now you they may not have the strength in themselves let me give you 11 instructions for this year and then we'll round up please write down these instructions and believe them you don't have anything to write type it in your phone men prosper in the kingdom on the strength of instructions he says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life to those who find them men rise in this kingdom through instructions transgressors are violators of instructions number one very quickly in this year 2018 make up your mind to love and seek the lord passionately instruction number one love and seek the lord passionately i beg you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god prioritize god in your life this year prioritize god some of you i congratulate you at least you are better than the way you used to be but you need to do more you need to move closer to god pray for me oh as you are going to church no love and seek the lord passionately number two serve the lord this year wholeheartedly serve the lord wholeheartedly you are a worker in this ministry this is the time for you to pour your heart doesn't matter what department you are not a worker in this ministry find a department and commit yourself commit yourself serve the lord exodus 23 verse 25 exodus 23 i'm just running the instructions but i just felt like giving you a scripture of this it says if they obey and serve me if you shall obey and serve the lord your god he shall do what bless thy bread and ye shall serve the lord your god and he shall bless your bread and your water and i will take sickness away from the midst of you when you read 26 let's read 26 it says that there shall nothing cast a young nor be barren in the land the number of your days i will fulfill serve god wholeheartedly genuinely genuinely coming to church is not serving god walking in the house of god is serving god number three be passionate and intentional about bringing men to jesus be passionate and intentional about bringing men to jesus Daniel chapter 12 and verse 3 be passionate and intentional about bringing men to Jesus read it with me one to read 
and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament uh-huh and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore brothers and sisters your heart must be passionate about bringing people to jesus bringing people to jesus is more than just winning souls you are going to church you don't go alone are we together there's someone in your neighborhood after evangelizing to him another person will come while you are talking say somebody has come say it doesn't matter i can continue from where he stopped let your life bring somebody to jesus someone sits down and he tells you I, look at the way my life is I say well uh, there's prayer meeting going on here on tuesday once in a while you can go no that's not evangelism that's suggestion evangelism is my brother jesus christ is able to help you look at what he made out of my life and you talk to the person and at the end of it you ask the person do you mind that i pray and lead you to jesus christ some of you as i'm saying it you are even shocked because you have not said this thing in years it's not part of your dictionary a profitable believer is one who brings harvest of souls and establishment of the same leave people and drag yourself you are coming for miracle service you are coming alone your entire loved ones are languishing in in trouble be be a true evangelist do the work of an evangelist you know a woman around your neighborhood she has been buried madam please i don't have transport no problem i will pay your transport that's evangelism hallelujah let's be serious about leading men to jesus can i tell you the truth all that we do in this life will end one day are you hearing what i'm saying anybody that leaves this earth without nobody goes to hell for sinning everybody goes to hell for rejecting jesus that is what takes people to hell it is not sin that takes people to hell it is they are rejecting jesus the propitiation the substitute so don't sit down some of us our wives are not saved our husbands are not saved this is the year to vet everyone's salvation start with your household don't sit down and say it doesn't matter when i hear that someone has gone to be with the lord the first thing i ask is did he die in christ if he died in christ i just say ah then the only thing we are going to miss is just the physical fellowship but brothers and sisters let me be sincere with you if you die without christ you will never 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 be connected to jesus again as far as the bible reveals to us it matters that we make sure people we give people business deals wonderful we give them jobs i want you to preach oh. use everything use your looks to preach hello use your credit to preach use your life don't say me i'm not a woman of god i will keep sowing in koinonia please the urgency the church of the lord jesus christ is gradually fading in the area of conscious evangelism i know we make altar calls in church but that personal life we pray for people we intercede for people but we watch people they are not born again we don't care we call it being friendly start with those under your roof especially for those of us who have any form of influence nobody should be under my roof and not serve my god no sir don't say we don't want to offend anybody it doesn't mean you just meet somebody especially a non-christian and start harassing them no you can start by showing them the love of god it doesn't have to be one day preaching intercede for your loved ones many people drop prayer requests here car house wife husband they never write the names of souls and say father by next miracle service let this my father meet jesus number four 
remain joyful and thankful fourth instruction quickly we have 11 of them remain joyful and thankful this is the year that you should never allow anything kill your joy not bad reports not anything make up your mind to be joyful regardless of what happens remain joyful don't allow your joy to be perturbed by circumstances remain unbending in your joy get up in the morning you sing praises unto god lord i love you while you are doing that immediately you get an alert the interview went and were sorry to announce to you that you didn't get the job lord is all right i know that this is painful but i thank you the admission list first list came out i even saw in my dream that i got admission now physically there's no admission and then you are you cry because you are a human being jesus wept but in the midst of the cry find a song of merriment number number what be strong in faith fifth instruction be strong in faith reject fear reject fear write it be strong in faith dash reject fear the fear of evil report the fear of death the fear of not having a man to marry you the fear of not having a woman to marry you hello it's amazing how people walk with all these kinds of fear brothers the fear of not being established reject it sisters the fear of marrying a poor man of some of these nonsense fears that lead people to do demonic things reject it the fear of your church remaining at the same level the fear of being destroyed the bible says and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime it's subject i know that all around the nation and around africa there are all kinds of upheavals happening reject fear reject fear reject fear for God has not given me and you the spirit of fear, but he has given us the spirit of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Please reject fear. Be strong in faith. Number six. This year, 2018, be visionary and focused. Get serious with your life. It's an instruction. Write it down. Be visionary and focused for God's sake. Get serious with your life. Let this be the year that children become adults. Let this be the year that naive people grow up in their minds. Brothers, let this be the year that childishness is replaced with a life of diligence and discipline and maturity. My Bible says, when I was a child, I thought like a child many of us have are still calling ourselves children give yourself an orientation this year i will no longer behave like a child brothers sisters everybody behave is that true especially for those trusting god to settle down this year your life must show you are ready hello hold on mike your life must show you are what ready don't call into your life blessings you have not been equipped to receive and maintain don't call into your life blessings you are not ready to equip and maintain sister if you are saying 2018 is my year of marital settlement please do the needful be disciplined jumping around comes to an end hopping around people's houses to gossip comes to an end why you are preparing to be a good wife don't see a child fall and you walk and you are trying to cut walk. No, you are acting like a girlfriend. You act like a wife. Correct? Don't worry, we have a series. Oh, I mean, you are in for a buffet this year. Praise the Lord. And our brothers too. Balance. Balance balance i love god but i'm suffering balance this is the year we will access wisdom from the throne to do well in all things balance 
praying in tongues and you are not doing anything about taking care of your family there are many brothers that are not ready to settle down being old in age is not the requirement for settling down it is the ability to understand the cost implication of life hallelujah so you have to be visionary and focused go and get a notebook there are some of us get more than a notebook get a room get a room get out of your friend's room and find your room trust god for grace release your faith gather some money and get a room of your own where will i get mattress start with a bed sheet on the ground learn the honor of diligence all this waiting for a job to bail you out is the thing that sponsors carelessness the power of god is released when you get out get out there are young people that should pack out of their parents house this year and there are parents that should call the young people and say look um i had the message apostle preached and i love you with all my heart i love you too much to leave you in this house go ah, daddy what if i die go and die there go i'm i'm jo I'm, I'm serious i'm not joking then certain levels of decorum will come then once it is seven you will go back home you are learning to be a good father is because there is a friend whose room you are staying and they are cooking for you that's why you can return back home 11 o'clock with no reason you are that is already an atmosphere for unfaithfulness you have a room you learn maintenance you can lock your room the day you forget and they steal your rechargeable you have learned you have learned responsibility through the things you have suffered and that is a good lesson because now it will help you to be serious there are too many children old children believing that just because age is going they are wise we have to sit down say i will be focused in the name of jesus so be visionary be focused you are a pastor settle down what has god called me to do not i'm an apostle today i'm an evangelist tomorrow i think briefly prophetic came on me. what what are you to the body settle down you are a businessman what do you do i do everything no sir you will fail be focused be focused get a clear direction for your life lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me you can't do everything ladies calm down settle down this is the direction my life is taking oh i'm going to be serious oh this is what i'm going to do with my life i'm a graduate now I've not am i working or am i doing business or am i doing both okay what am i doing i need to be focused i need to buy a book and be serious oh i notice that every time money comes i waste it with friends we don't drink we don't smoke but we waste money it's still sin are we together right now when money comes i notice i'm a worker in koinonia instead of wasting money let me buy one suit and now start looking like a gentleman the day your glory comes you don't have the attire for it number seven in this year 2018 spend time building your spirit man and your mind spend time invest in fact that's really the word invest time building your spirit man and your mind buy clothes look good but brothers and sisters only buy clothes and look good when your spirit is alive and your mind is alive packaging without content should live your life this year all this spending hilarious money to buy things and prove things that are not in your spirit and not in your mind make sure that a life a fake life leaves you this year build your spirit man as a woman build your spirit man as a man build your spirit man through prayers the study of the word and relevant materials let me tell you where many of us have stopped prayers and bible bible is not the word it contains the word there are other materials that contain the word explained to be relevant to your future just carry a bible and read any part of it and think you are growing no you need books that explain things to you get books get videos some of you may need to budget for a laptop this year you don't have a television yet budget for a laptop 
you can sell two or three of your shoes and buy a laptop shoes that don't bring anything let's let's be serious invest in your spirit let me tell you what will happen many people who are used to packaging will laugh at you but i guarantee you your spirit and your mind like power twins will return everything you are paying for now a thousand times number what number eight pay attention to your health and your physical well-being please write it down when god gave me this word i repented a thousand times before god before even jotting it down pay attention to your health and your physical well-being you can't pay attention to your spirit pay attention to your mind and the body that will keep them here you are careless with it that means you are ready to exit so pay attention to your health paying attention to your health is not buying hilariously expensive creams that are beyond your power now that's not paying attention to your health you can start at whatever level you have you are now instead of buying all kinds of things you can buy fruits natural things correct yes instead of taking five coca-cola in a day buy carrots buy apple watermelon meet the welfare after the service for any information that can help you on your health let's let's walk as if we want to live long exercise truly speaking exercise god challenged me on these things and i will tell you as he did for me exercise take advantage of your life your health work on it believers are careless with their health we allow all kinds of sicknesses come you are feeling sharp pains around your body i'm a man of faith but what is wrong with looking at someone and say oh there's a sharp pain no just to verify okay this and that oh we notice wow um we found out that there's something there okay so this is what the enemy wants to put in my body let's work together but many believers will go on and be talking things that can be managed at infancy now later gets to a complicated case and they deny men of god sleep with disturbance because of something that wisdom could manage please take your health seriously you know when you are sick god gave us brains you know your body before and during sickness something is wrong deal with it care of your body take care of your health number number nine press for financial freedom press for financial freedom pay attention to the details that will empower you i beg you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god do not allow anybody trivialize to your life the relevance of being financially free if it is god you want to serve you want to have time for god your family and your destiny press for financial freedom we have a lot of teachings on that wise that will come this year there already are teachings get financial dominion get the wealthy place other auxiliary teachings success systems the gift of men activating seasons of favor activating seasons of breakthrough settle down with it i understand the media is working on a dedicated web page to arrange some of the sermons topically so that it's easy they make it easy if you are looking for topics on finances there are all the messages there so you can download them believers poverty will distract us from living a fruitful life i repeat poverty will distract us lack will distract us living from hand to mouth will never allow us grow spiritually and live a life of health and soundness depression is eating up christians tongue talking christians because they have to worry about where tea and bread will come from by the grace of god 
God has empowered us as leaders in this ministry with enough intelligence to be able to contribute and bring supply. I am a balanced man of God. I don't believe in people getting anointed and healing the sick and remaining poor. Why choose when everything is, the, is in the same table? It is the life of God. Please and please, especially our dear brothers, let us trust God to press towards financial freedom. Don't say I'm too young. Don't say God will make a way. Just like a callous, irresponsible statement. Let's settle down and trust God to work our salvation, financially speaking, in fear and trembling. You don't work out your finances by hustling. This is the year when hustlers will pay for it. Doing everything in the strength of the flesh. No, thou shalt hear a voice from behind. The secret to financial prosperity is not business. I've told you, the secret to financial prosperity is not a job. The secret to financial prosperity is understanding. Understanding. That is the first thing you seek. Understanding first. Getting a job and doing business is giving your understanding a physical expression to now deliver the results. There are many people doing business, getting jobs with no understanding. We live in an economy that many of us do not understand God's financial system. And we are paying for it dearly. Please press for financial freedom this year. Start with the teachings. Listen to them again and again. The work has been done for many of us. If you pay attention to Koinonia's teachings on finances, if that's the only thing you study alone, I guarantee you, you'll be successful. Number 10. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Walk in love and be at peace with all men. Brothers and sisters, this is the year when all black books must be torn into pieces. Say amen. amen. The, the books that we have allowed the devil to give us, all this compendium of enemies, all this attitude of cynicism, love and peace is therapeutic. This should be the year for intentional reconciliation. It will be costly to spend your life and your time being at loggerheads with people be having love and peace will require you learning how to speak to men with honor there are many auxiliary additions to it it does not mean that you just live in love and peace there are some of us your current mindset does not have provision for peace because the way you communicate is pungent and destructive we must learn to culture our words through understanding it is part of the press for living a life walking in love and peace with all men don't look down on anybody don't criticize anybody and say your father is this you people are poor you people are rich you are this tribe you are that tribe uh -uh. i am your senior in secondary school you are my junior in... have mutual respect one for another don't be the one receiving all the respect and having people bowing to you and you're not reciprocating. Living in love and peace will require you learning people's skills. Understanding the psychological composition of living with people. Don't run somebody down and tear somebody down and think it does not matter. You look at a lady and insult her, lambast her from head to toe and then expect that she would not be at loggerheads jealousy what of gossiping hopping from place to place to talk about people bringing into your discussion matters of people that are not your concern all these things must be well edited this year so that we can live in love and peace and then mark people mark their areas of vulnerability and create a system to relate with them without being harmed by their vulnerability there are people who will never stop gossiping so you learn when best to see them greet them in church don't go to their house because it's obvious that going to their house is going to create a platform for gossiping let the meeting place be church and church alone are we together finally love the body of christ the last instruction i will give you for this year genuinely love the body of christ 
never criticize never castigate any man of god never castigate any ministry don't join bloggers to tear down men of god doesn't mean that men of god and ministries are perfect we all are not perfect but then you cannot sow that seed of being the one to be destroying a man's destiny and a man's church a man's ministry whether it was your former church your present church your former pastor your present pastor koinonia any church a church in nigeria a church in diaspora it doesn't matter where always see the light in the church in spite of the weakness of the body christ is still in the midst of her let this be the year there is a sin that many believers are committing it's called the sin of fighting against the body if nobody has told you is sin i want you to know that it is sin fighting the body of christ through ill-spoken words fighting a man's church fighting a man's whatever getting down intentionally to destroy the work of god because of poor and pungent communications is sin and it's a very strange kind of sin because it brings almost instant consequences for this cause many are weak for this cause many are sick and for this cause many do sleep what is their sin not discerning the body hallelujah ladies and gentlemen god has announced to us that this is a year of signs and wonders i believe it and I know that you believe it and we are going to pray and speak this into our lives there are many developments that have happened in the ministry I'm going to be announcing them shortly but then I want us to rise up on our feet now and we are going to pray this prophetic word into our lives you have heard the word you have heard the instructions that have come from the word I want you to open your notebook I'm going to give you five minutes open your notebook and pray these 11 instructions into your life forget about the signs and wonders it will be the result of this open the notebooks one by one and look at it and cry to the god of heaven go ahead and pray pray it pray it into your life pray it into your life don't be silent brothers and sisters pray it into your life I receive grace to love and seek the Lord. Shabakato bakarato sadabaliakata. Intimacy. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. I receive grace for intimacy. In the name of Jesus Christ. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. I obey and I serve Him. Pray those 11 things into your heart. Be childlike enough and pray them and watch the God of heaven arise for you. You have five minutes, prophesy them into your life. Lord, I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I obtain the grace. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I am intentional about bringing men to Jesus. I decree and declare that this year I am visionary. I am focused. I am visionary. I am focused. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I spend time building my spirit man. Go ahead and pray. I spend time building my mind. I pay attention to my health. I pay attention to my physical well-being. I shall not die. I live long. And I do the things that make for long life. In the name of Jesus, I pay attention to my health. I press for financial freedom. I reject poverty. I reject lack. I reject financial weakness. In the name of Jesus, God has made all grace abound to me. 
so that I have been all sufficiency in all things that I have bound unto all good works in the name of Jesus I decree the Bible says declare that he might be justified declare it in prayer I walk in love I'm at peace with all men no enmity no jealousy no backbiting no tearing down another in the name of Jesus this is the year when my life will lift everyone up this is the year when my words will lift everyone up not destroying the destinies of men I love the body of Christ in the name of Jesus I love the body of Christ I am part of the body of Christ I honor the body of Christ hallelujah I like you to declare and say father no battle this year will bring me down to the ground lift your voice and declare victorious all true from January to December in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my life becomes a sign and a wonder no weapon fashion against me will prosper no tongue rising up against me will succeed when men say there is a casting down my declaration is that there is a lifting up pray pray no defeat no defeat victorious by the blood of jesus no defeat no defeat no defeat no defeat my year of signs and wonders no defeat in any area of life in the name of jesus no defeat hallelujah two more prayer points very quickly hallelujah i like us as a family to pray for one sign to start up the year lord strange favor lift your voice and pray lord let that be the sign we agree with you oh god as a ministry give us the sign the first sign for the year undeniable favor favor with men favor with systems favor with institutions favor with governmental personalities let favor bring us revelations from the realm of the spirit let favor bring us strange dimensions of influence let it be a sign and a token oh god that will follow every one koinonia member all through this year we declare favor we prophesy favor we release favor we declare favor we prophesy favor we release favor hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point that the god of suddenlies that arises overnight listen i want us to pray for a quick walk not just favor lord arise a quick walk in the lives of people lift your voice and pray god of suddenlies god of suddenlies he says suddenly there was a sound suddenly an emergence suddenly a job suddenly an admission sudden marriage sudden children sudden lifting sudden anointing lord compress time compress time give your people speed we invoke
rebuke you the God of suddenness arise oh God in this year of signs and wonders let it not be according to time let it be according to your power let it not be according to time let it be according to your power Come on, invoke the God of the suddenness. Arise for me, O God, my helper, Ebenezer. Arise, wipe the tears of those that cry, silence the lips of mockers. Suddenly, let the lifting come. It's called a year of signs and wonders. Lord, defy the laws of nature. Defy the laws of nature. Arise for people. Change their levels spiritually. Change their levels financially. Don't be tired. We are praying. Restore honor to your people. Restore glory to your people. Oh God, I cry to you. Arise. Listen, we are rounding up. Look at me. There is the natural progression of life. Are we together? But Bible says a mystery can happen when the sower and the reaper, as you are sowing, you are receiving harvest. That time can actually be removed in an equation. It's not ungodly. God leaves time to teach us wisdom. But when we have gotten the wisdom, he can take away the time equation and say, look, I'm giving you speed. There are things in people's lives that if it is according to time, they may never do much. Is that true? Time. A woman who has been barren for eight years does not need one, one child. When God gives her triplets once, he has given her eight years. This is speed. Are we together? There are people who graduated 20 years ago. They have not gotten a job. If you get a job of 40,000, please tell me, in how many years will you buy cement? You need speed. Brothers and sisters, there is a name God is called. He's called the God of the suddenness. I don't know if you believe this thing. Oh, that a man can sleep in the prison and by the next day be a prime minister that a nation can be dying of recession and by the next day food goes almost for nothing is that true that apostles can be timidly hiding in the upper room and by the next day they are filled with power moving have you not heard that a nation can give birth in one day a woman birth is supposed to be nine months but God said, I can do something that will make a nation give birth in one day. We are still going to pray this prayer and say, Lord, bring speed to my life. Be the God of the suddenness. Settle the issues in my life so that I can have time to serve you. Pray. Settle my life, oh God. Maritally, settle my life, oh God. Financially, settle my life, oh God. I want to have the time to serve you. Lord, let the promotion come speedily. Let the spiritual dimension come speedily. Lord, let the gift be at work in my life speedily. Let that level of anointing come to my life speedily. hallelujah hallelujah just give me a few seconds I want you to make an announcement to principalities and powers 
that this is not the year for dragging is a year when you match things and move look the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah elijah did not meet any obstacle on the way listen i like you to release your faith with someone near you and challenge every devil that has been programmed to obstruct your work satan has a mysterious way of keeping people at a position challenge every power challenge every devil lord i declare no obstacle on my way god of jeshurun arise go before me like a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire consuming everything that is not of god yokes from darkness the scourging bones of men divinations manipulations in the dark world i decree and declare the god that is as a pillar of fire is against you is against you my god is a consuming fire my god is a consuming fire burn everything that stands to delay your purposes in my life go ahead and pray this is for your glory oh god everything it has never happened in my family i'm the first to do it in this year my life will be a sign and a wonder for you to be glorified for you to be lifted all i want is for you for you to be glorified for you to be all I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. God knows the reason why he made a miracle service immediately after the next, the, after the first service next week is miracle service and i believe god did it intentionally because i'm trusting god that we will receive something by next week truly speaking that will project people in it's not all about just deliverance this is impartation there is something you need to receive for the journey that you will run like elijah and no devil will be able to stand you hallelujah everyone keeps standing our time is gone we've spoken about souls there are people here overflow one two three wherever you are you started this year not even knowing you will leave and god kept you there are people who came here by invitation others may have been here in koinonia you've seen what god has done you've seen what god does all the time listen carefully tonight i want to give you an invitation no cajoling no saying nothing you've heard the word of god there are people who are saying man of god truly speaking i cannot start this year without a genuine decision for jesus there are others who are saying man of god i gave my life to christ but right now i cannot say that i'm in christ and i want to make it right with god now overflow one and two you can come in overflow okay overflow one and three Overflow 2, you can walk to the projector stand outside. Overflow 3, walk to your projector stand. You are here giving your life to Christ or rededicating your life. Our time is gone. Wherever you are, boldly make your way to the front now. Or the various projector screens that you have. Quickly, let's give Jesus praise. Someone has to be coming out. There's got to be someone that Jesus is talking to. Please clear the way for them if there are people coming. God bless you. Let's appreciate them. They are coming. Don't wait for anybody to be the first. Be the first. God bless you. God bless you.
those outside celebrate those who are coming out in your various projectors those online you're following us from any nation of the world it doesn't matter i want you to take god seriously this year we've spoken about intimacy and encounter god bless you keep coming apostle i think i gave my life to christ i'm not very sure join them join them join them there is something called the assurance of salvation join them very quickly hallelujah if there are people still coming okay please coordinate them overflow one two three and all the other overflows thank you so much brothers and sisters please let me have your attention especially for those at the projectors just pay attention to your screen i really want to appreciate all of you for making this decision some of you are making a decision for the first time some of you are rededicating your life to jesus the devil is a liar this year god has declared that it's a year of signs and wonders and what a joy it is to lead you to jesus christ just make this genuine it's not a point we are reciting lift your right hand and say this after me very genuinely those online who are rededicating their lives to jesus or giving their lives to jesus join us in this prayer say after me lord jesus I love you and I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight I have heard your word I declare that you are Lord of my life I declare that you are my Savior I hand over my life to you and I receive your life in return the life of God into my spirit I declare that from tonight I am free from condemnation from sin from the flesh and from the power of Satan I'm a child of God the grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in Jesus name keep your hands lifted Lord Jesus I stretch my hands to these ones in front and by extension all those connecting here and online I pray in the name of your dear son that you will not only receive these ones but the grace to live victorious Christian lives be granted them in Jesus name I decree and declare that your sins are forgiven and that you begin a new walk with the Lord in the name of Jesus I declare that it will be for you forward ever and backward never in Jesus name I pray amen and amen thank you so much for this decision I like you to follow um, someone waving her hands there's a lady waving her hands there I'd like you to just follow her all of you this way just follow her and um, there will be a group of people who will talk to you hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.